Hi guys, doing thank you for joining me on SB252. So the Lakers and Lonzo Ball going to Philadelphia and win 107 to 104 just a few moments ago. And Joel Embiid was on the losing side this time, although last time they played, they played in LA and he scored 46 points. This time he scored 33 points. So he is not a big fan of LeVar Ball and the Lakers, and Lonzo Ball, and he always seems to have great performances against them. I want to note out a play in the fourth quarter where he was going up against Andrew Bogut, and he was called for the offensive foul. And Andrew Bogut was clearly flopping on that play. So much so that even Reggie Miller, who said that he flopped from time to time and a lot of times in his career, he said that if the league's trying to get rid of that play of flopping, then they don't need to call an offensive foul in that situation. And I couldn't agree more. But that's really what ignited the 76ers team for a late fourth quarter surge. Because they were down by double digits at times in this game, but they were able to corral and figure it out and push the Lakers at the end. But Brandon Ingram, if you guys saw it, hit the game-winning three at the end that was set up by a kickout. By Lonzo Ball, he was able to collapse the defense and kick it out. And that was what the dagger in the game. And it only left 0.8 seconds left for the Sixers. And then Holmes tried to hit a three for them. Couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. But Lonzo Ball finishes the game with 10 points. We all know he's been struggling shooting the ball. He had eight rebounds and eight assists. But for the Lakers... Good win. It snaps a five-game losing streak that they had. They were able to beat tonight the 13-10 and 10 squad that is the 76ers. And obviously, we know we just talked about the 76ers a little bit here early on this channel. My brother Donald came on and talked about it. He talked about the Joel... Uh, not the Joel Embiid, excuse me. He talked about the Julia Okafor trade. He was traded to the net. So this was their first game without him. And quite frankly, they really didn't need him. A big disappointment. I'm a fan of Duke basketball, and I didn't see this coming. I thought he was going to be a pretty good NBA player, I, I must admit. He just didn't work out, and like we said earlier, the Sixers have drafted a lot of big men. They got Ben Simmons, they got Joel Embiid, so it was time to move on from him. But tonight, just couldn't quite get the win, and the Lakers were able to get it tonight. They played pretty good for themselves, but an issue is the foul shots. They were only 50% from the foul line. I've noticed their numbers at the, at the foul line from the charity strike have not been very good this year. So they got to figure that out. They got to get it together. And they struggled shooting again tonight. Only 44% from the field. Those two things, they got to get it together. Still a young team. Figured it out. Decent victory. Anyway, thank you guys for watching SB2 for the two. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.